coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. vacation. And why don't you stop yakking and start whacking? Not that you're gonna hit anything. I'm gonna murder it. Well, what do you know? It's still alive. Strike one, killer. Strike two. Way to pitch him out one more now. Okay, I'm taking this one for a ride. Strike three! You're out of there! Watch your pitches, Rudy! Fat Albert can hit! Huh. Wait till I give him a taste of the Rudy Super Slider Fastball. Hey, 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 going all the way! Baby, go Throw it over! Come on, much mouth! Toss it in there! Hurry up, Fat Albert! Come on! Come on! I got him now! Oh, no! Fat Albert's gonna... Slide! Yeah, <laughs> you ever seen anything like this? Uh, it looks something like baseball, <laughs> but it could be. You can say that again. Who are you guys? I'm Mickey. Uh, this is Ty. We play ball for the 10th Street Tigers. That's the team that won the Junior League Championship last year. We've been looking for a few teams to play against before the regular season starts, and somebody suggested you guys. But I guess they must have been joking. <laughs> what do you mean, joking? We'll play anybody, anytime, right? Hold on, Rudy. Hey, uh, you guys are chicken. Who are you calling chicken, turkey? Yeah, you want a game? You got it. That's hey, right. We're we're no chickens. Chickens. Anytime, anytime play, you play. Play. Yeah. We'll show you dudes. Saturday at noon, the Junior League Field in the park. We'll see you there. Come on, Ty. Well, we'll be there, and then we'll see who winds up laughing. I think we just made a big mistake. Oh, come on, Fat Albert. We're not that bad. Our hitting's pretty good, and our feeling's decent. And don't forget my pitching. Uh, I think we just made a big mistake. <laughs> Harold doesn't know how right he is. The gang made a mistake, all right, but it wasn't to agreeing to play the baseball game. Their mistake was in agreeing just because Mickey called them chicken. Now, nobody likes to be called names, you know, that challenge you, but when you get so angry that you don't think and you can find yourself doing something that later on you realize you really didn't want to do. I mean, like, for instance, taking some dangerous risk just to prove you're not afraid. A lot of kids get hurt real bad that way. And you know, they never really prove anything, except maybe how dumb they were at the time they accepted the challenge. I don't know how we got ourselves into this, and those 10th Street Tigers are gonna cream us. You gotta have a positive attitude about these things, Fat Albert. I do. I'm positive they're gonna cream us. If we only have one good pitcher. A pitcher, you say, like someone with a real hot 
fastball? Yeah, a hot fastball. And maybe a tricky curve. That'd be great. And a real razzle-dazzle change-up, hmm? Yeah, you know where I can find someone like that? Could be, uh, I do. Really? Where? Well, maybe you could advertise on the TV. Or put a notice up around school, or you could just take a quick look over there. Wow. She's fantastic. I'm gonna talk to her right now. Thanks, Mudfoot. Uh, glad to be of... <laughs> hey, fellas. I want you to meet someone. Guys, this is Mary Ann Parker. Hi, Mary Ann. Hey, 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 you sure are pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mary Ann, just move here, and we got ourselves one terrific pitcher. Yeah? Where is he? Not he. She. I'm talking about Mary Ann. She's going to pitch for us against the Tigers. But she's a girl. So what? Get serious, Fat Albert. We can't play baseball with a girl. Yeah, the Tigers would laugh us right off the field. If you guys would just watch her pitch. Ah, uh, let's forget it, Albert. I appreciate your asking me, but your friends obviously don't want me to play. I'll see you around. Marianne? Marianne? Oh, uh, let it go, Fat Albert. We don't need her. Yeah, she can't play with us. Girl, she can't even throw a second base. When it comes to bad moves, the gang is batting a thousand today. First, they get themselves into a game they'll probably lose, and then they won't even give Marianne a chance to show them what she can do, just because Marianne's a girl. You know, there's a phrase for the way the gang is mistreating Marianne. It's called sex discrimination. That means judging people by what sex they are instead of what they can do. And like any form of discrimination, that's wrong. But I guess the gang is going to have to find out uh, the hard way on their own. Oh, mmm! Oh, mm, strawberry is my, my favorite ice cream flavor. Strawberry? Last week you said chocolate was your favorite flavor. It is, but strawberry is my favorite too. You can't have two favorite flavors. I don't. I have three, because I like pinstachio, too. <laughs> hey, look who's here. A couple of the junkyard jokes. Hey, shouldn't you guys be practicing? They don't have to practice. <laughs> they already know how to lose. <laughs> it's you guys who should be practicing how to lose, because we're going to wipe you out. You want to put some money on that? Money? You mean like cash? Oh, they're pulling Rudy in again. <laughs> Maybe this time he'll be smart enough to ignore it. Six dollars and 43 cents too rich for you? 43 cents. Well, that's more cents than Rudy's showing. You got a bet, chump. <laughs> Because that's all there is in the club treasury. What? You bet our money? I made the bet for all of us. It'll give us more reason to win. I'm sure Fat Albert and the rest of you guys will understand. You bet our treasury on the game? Rudy, you do I was just trying to give us more motivation. I'm gonna motivate you into the next county. Hold on, Rudy was wrong to do what he did, but he might have a point. Yeah, it's underneath his hat. What I mean is, we're all bound to play harder, not the treasury's on the line, right? And anyway, there's nothing we can do about it, right? So let's stop arguing, start practicing, and we'll never be able to win the game. Let's do it.
We're doomed. Yeah, especially with, with, with Rudy pitching. I suppose one of you guys could do better. Marianne could. She's the best pitcher I've ever seen. If you guys would only give her a chance. She's got to be better than Rudy. My grandmother's better than Rudy, and she's 80, um, old. It wouldn't hurt to give Marianne a try. Now you guys are talking. I don't believe this. I thought we didn't want a girl on our team. A girl's better than a turkey. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> let's go. 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 Well, it looks as if Rudy's pitching isn't really quite as great as he claimed it was. Now, you think he'd know by now that when you can't do what you say you can do, it won't take long for other people to find out unless you're doing something by yourself and nobody can see it. Fortunately, the gang has decided to give Marianne a chance, and that's a step in the right direction. I just hope they haven't taken that step too late. <laughs> Wow, you were right, Fat Albert. I've never seen a fastball that fast. Oh, he, 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 he's as good as Fernando Vanilla. Vanilla? Yeah, he, he's my favorite next to Strawberry. <laughs> you mean Fernando Valenzuela, don't you? Yeah, but I, I can't, I can't pronounce Valenzuela, so I, I say Vanilla. <laughs> Hi, Marianne. Hi, Albert. What are you and the girl haters of America doing here? The gang's decided they want you on the team after all, and they're sorry for what they said before. Right, fellas? We sure hey, are. Right on, man. Hey, he's 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 we need, we you. need you. What do you say, Marianne? Will you please pitch for us? Gee, Albert, I'd like to, but when you guys turned me down, I decided to join the Junior League. The tryouts are today. Well, Fat Albert and the gang sure struck out. Marianne's gonna play for the Junior League, and they're left with Rude. Yeah, it just goes to show you that when opportunity knocks, you better open the door right away. Because if you don't, opportunity will leave and knock somewhere else. <clears throat> I better get that. It's nice of you to come watch me try out, Albert. Especially after I disappointed you like that. That was our fault, not yours. We're friends, right? Right. Well, I better go sign up. Hey, your name and the physician you're trying out for? Mary Ann Parker, pitcher. What is this? A joke? <laughs> Hey, what happened? Are you trying out? They won't let me. Boys only. I'm so sick of that. Why does everybody think that only boys can play ball? You can still play with our team. The team we're playing is in this league. They are? Sure are. In fact, they're the champs. Albert, you've got yourself a pitcher. Well, that was a break for Fat Albert and the gang with Marianne pitching against the Tigers. They at least have a chance to save their club treasury. But of course, Marianne alone can't win the game for them. No matter how good a pitcher she is, in a team sport like baseball, everyone has to work together to come out on top. And that's why it's called a team. Yeah, pulling together. That's the way to win in baseball or in anything else that you do with other people. And I'm sure that the gang knows that. Yeah, you couldn't hit water if you yeah. fell out of my boat. Of course, I could be wrong. And you can't play third, yeah, knucklehead. Yeah, Who you call oh, knucklehead? Man, you can't play dead. If somebody doesn't find my glove, I'm quitting. Quiet. I know you guys are nervous, but we're supposed to be a team. Remember? Hey, sorry, Fat Albert. Yeah, yeah we're, we're sorry. sorry. We, we don't, don't want to do it anymore. Again. Not again, man. OK, I got the bat in order, and hey, they showed up. <laughs> and they've got a girl on their team. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we'd get laughed at. That shouldn't bother you. People are always laughing at you. That's the girl I told you about, the one who wanted to join our league. I guess she can't take no for an answer. You here to play ball or talk? All right, let's play. I'm 
Take it easy on you, girly. Right one. Good pitch, Miriam. We go, go Miriam. Strike him out. Go better. Go better. Right two. Okay, Miriam. Smoke that ham. <laughs> That real easy. Hey, she's pretty good for a girl. Shut up and get a hit. <laughs> Dear I three, you're out. We need one run, or we lose the game. Who's up? Marianne! She hasn't gotten a hit all game. We're sunk. Now, wait a minute. I hate to say it, but they're right, Albert. My hitting needs a lot of work, and we need that run. So I think we should put in a pinch hitter. Good idea, but we don't have a pinch hitter. Yeah, everybody here is playing. Not everybody. You mean me? Russell, are you nuts? The sun must have baked your brain. Russell can't hit. I don't know what you're thinking, Marianne, but we can't put Russell in. We'll lose the game for sure. No, we won't. Just trust me. Better up! Go get him, Russ. Hey, get this. These guys must be dying to lose. <laughs> I sure hope you know what you're doing. Ball one! <laughs> Ball two! Marianne, you are terrific. Well, I figure that pitcher wasn't good enough to throw a strike to somebody as short as Russell. Ball three! <laughs> Ball your base better. All right, All right. Right. Hey, hey, hey. Just send it my way. Do it, Get it out. Or take it for the big way. Get it out. Kinda having tryouts again next week, if you're interested. You don't mind if a girl plays? No. Good. I'll bring my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I guess Marianne proved that boys are not the only ones who can play baseball. And you know, that's a lesson that holds for a lot of other things too. I mean, there's nothing really that women and girls can't do if they want to, and if they're given the chance to. In fact, Albert and the gang know that. And I hope you do too. I'll see you next time.